Hello everyone, this is Farding from British Columbia School and I hope all of you are doing well. Today in this video I'm going to talk about how I achieved full years, that's 300 out of 300 in both years physics and chemistry. Without delaying, let's start the video. According to a recent survey we had conducted, the most common struggles of students are maintaining concentration, being productive, retaining information, understanding the questions, writing according to the masking, and time management. As a student I went through all of this, so how did I overcome them? Firstly, speaking about maintaining concentration and being productive. I knew that for both of them, a carefully planned schedule was essential and that's why I devised a schedule which included at least 3 to 5 hours of study, some meaningful breaks and, of course, 6 to 8 hours of sleep. Well, I'm emphasizing on the point of getting at least 6 to 8 hours of sleep because it was the key factor for me to stay focused in the classes. And honestly, I'm not a guy who likes to study all day long. Even if I ask my friends about it, they'll probably tell you that I usually remained online helping them or chatting with them whenever they needed me. But when it was time to study, according to my routine, I made sure to close the door, switch my phone off and put it out of my sight to avoid any kind of distraction. That's how instead of studying for long periods, I focused on studying effectively and efficiently. After that, let's come to the point of retaining information. Even though in my case I was quite attentive in the classes, I always make sure to spend at least 30 minutes reviewing the lecture sheets after getting back to home. This practice helped me a lot in keeping the lessons fresh in my mind for a long time. And also whenever my teachers were saying something that wasn't in the lecture sheets, I used to write them down. Moreover, I highlighted and underlined every single point that I was struggling to understand in the classes so that I could either ask my teacher about them later on or I could watch the recording after getting back to home. One thing that surely helped me was the proper utilization of the weekends. On the weekends or any day when I didn't have any classes, I made sure to follow a simple rule which is 8 hours of sleep, 8 hours of study and 8 hours for life. During the weekends, I went through all of the lecture sheets, notes and class recordings provided on a specific week to ensure that I was fully caught up and confident that I wouldn't have to revisit them later on. Another thing I would like to share is that being a high school student, I had a lot of things going on all around me besides academics. Like I was engaged in a lot of extracurricular activities, I had some family responsibilities, I had friends to maintain, like this. So it was quite normal for me to forget about a few things. That's why I maintained a diary or at least a rough copy with me where I noted down everything like deadlines, exam dates or event dates, uh, homework submission dates or things like what's still undone, what I have to do tomorrow, etc. Now let's talk a bit about understanding the questions and writing according to the masking. This part is very important. For me, before solving the question paper, actually understanding the commands of the questions like describe, discuss, evaluate, explain, suggest, state, etc. was vital to actually understand the question and guess the masking. Moreover, in my opinion, both understanding the questions and writing according to the masking are directly proportional to one thing, that is practice. That's why whenever I felt confident about a specific chapter and I was clear with all the doubts, concepts and theories, I directly dived into the chapter based question where I applied a strategy. Starting questions from Jan 15 to Jan 19, I kept the masking open right in front of me. What I used to do was, I took a look at the question, I guessed the answer in my head and I looked at the masking. After that, I wrote down all the points from the masking on my booklet and I highlighted the points that I was unable to guess. This technique helped me a lot in learning about the points I was missing and getting familiar with the question paper and understanding the basic requirements of the masking. Moreover, starting questions from June 19, I used to close the masking so that I could write all the answers by myself no matter what. When I was done, I opened the masking and matched my answer with the masking while taking a pen of different color to write down the points that I missed. Now let's come to the part of time management. During my years, I considered each and every EOS question paper as individual self mocks where I kept a timer of 1 or 30 minutes right in front of me, I took no breaks and simulated exactly the exam conditions including the temperature. And this practice greatly helped me in getting familiar with the exam environment. And also, during my actual exam, I had no issues with time management. Speaking especially about physics, 
I made sure I had all the answers to the common questions at the tip of my tongue. You can download the fact sheets from the links given in the description below. Last but not the least, the most important factor that kept me motivated throughout this journey was my circle of friends. There's a quote that says, show me your friends and I'll show you future. I truly believe this quote and that's why I surrounded myself with people who were not only academically excellent but also progressive, supportive, energetic and extremely ambitious. There were times when I was a bit out of track, I got distracted and my friends always put me right back on the track immediately. There were times when I couldn't understand a few questions and my friends were always there to help me out. There were times when I got frustrated, I was upset and my friends were always there to motivate me. Moreover, the friendly competition that existed between us was one of the main reasons for me to push the boundaries. To sum up, achieving full MS in AS wasn't just about long hours of studying. It is about some small strategies, staying consistent and surrounding myself with the right people. With a carefully planned schedule and regular practice, anyone can excel in their examination and overcome their challenges. Just remember to stay focused, stay safe, stay healthy and make most out of your time and resources. Speaking of resources, there were some really important resources that helped me during my session. You may download them from the links given in the description below. Best of luck for upcoming exams.